Hello everyone, we are the JCS Podcast Club. I am today's host, David Yu. Paul. Sean. Grace and Grace. Yay. Oh, today, we are going to discuss our recent special trip to the US. Yay! Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we recently went on a US college vision trip and we will discuss stories from our trip, what we learned, how we felt, which colleges we liked, pl- places we went, and food we ate, and that kind of question. Uh, I have a question for both of you. Uh, in your opinion, what was your favorite food place? Uh, for me, I think my favorite place was, I don't know the name of the beach, but we went to the beach, and I liked pl- <laughs> What? The beach, huh? Beach. <laughs> I like that because I okay okay. I, I like the place because uh there is something that I do with my cousin whenever we go to. <laughs> what? Beach. Why? It's we love the beach. My pronunciation is okay. No, we're not saying anything about your pronunciation. We love the beach. But why are you saying? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we love the beach. Uh, it is called the uh, Padatigi, and what that is is we lo- we run about like one hundred meter, <gasps> ten times go back and forth, and it is very fun. It, uh, your leg will be very tired, but it's very fun. And I made the promise in there, so I think that was one of my favorite places. The favorite food that I ate was the American hot dog, like. Wow. Like what toppings? Just plain Just or? Just plain. What? Oh. I like I like plain. No. Oh. Plain, plain taste. The what worst, place was the hot dog from? Hot dog? No, I think it was Wiener I, I Wiener something. Wiener Schitzel. <laughs> yes, Wiener. Yes, that one. I think that was my favorite food and um, please. It's How nice about to you? Hear. Um, I liked In and Out the best because mostly I've been craving it for the past couple of years that I haven't eaten it and just the uh, LA experience is probably very um you can't have it without having in and out so yeah I enjoyed in and out the most what was the since it was called the college vision trip you guys went to a lot of colleges around the area right so um which like which college did you like the most David Uh, I actually have three colleges or university, I sh- I sh- oh, the the three universities are first is Stanford and second one is UC Berkeley. Third one is UCLA. But sadly, we couldn't do the UCLA tour. But uh, I like Stanford because I like the scan- uh, Stanford's architecture and oh, yeah, I've heard it's very yeah. pretty. And also, one of the person that I know went to Stanford and for the undergraduate and UC Berkeley for a graduate. <laughs> so that's why I, I like to, I liked uh, UC Berkeley and Stanford because maybe I can get help from him. And also UCLA was uh, one of my favorite universities that I searched, so that's why I, I like the three universities. For me, for me, uh, I liked, I think I liked APU and Biola the most, be- mostly because they were the most welcoming. Like they treated us, treated us like we were actually part of that university. Mm. Wow! <laughs> they treated us with like hospitality and care, and they even gave us gifts. Wow! So yeah, I think those two are my favorite. Oh, I have one question: Do you like the universities because only those you uh, two universities gave you a free package? <laughs> no. I don't. I oh. actually um, don't use a lot of those thingies, the presents, but I'm very thankful for them. But I, f- I'm, um, I liked those universities because they were willing to talk to us and like communicate with us and be friendly to us. So I liked those two the best. Oh. Okay. Uh, Next question. What is something that you bought in America that you think is like, wow, I... I think I did a really good job of buying this. Oh, uh, how about uh, you say it first, please? Oh, uh, I really think I did a good job of buying 
clothes from America because the clothes in America are like much, cheaper. not much, but at least a little more cheaper than in America. And um, no, they're much cheaper in America than in Korea. So yeah, I think I got a really good deal off of some clothes that I bought there. That's nice to hear. Um, I'll ask the next question to David. So actually, he has a question. What? Yeah. I don't have a question. Why did you raise your hand? Sorry. What, uh, what is something that you bought in America that you think is really kanji? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you think uh, is oh. something that you bought in America which is very uh, amazing? I think it's my shoes. It is Adidas shoes that I'm wearing oh. right now. Maybe it is, in, it is made in China. Uh, no, I'm not judging the products <laughs> from China, but that. maybe <laughs> it is made in China, but... Uh, this shoes is very comfortable, and I bought this shoes with thirty-five dollar, and it is used to be one hundred dollar, but it was oh. like sixty-five percent sale. So it's very wonderful. Yeah, Good very job. Okay, next question. Speaking of buying things, um, what do you think that is something that only America has, but not, um, well, Korea as we're in right now. Hmm, I think a lot of the food options that America offers are not in Korea, um, such as Panda Express, In-N-Out, uh, Chipotle, and more. So I think, um, yeah, those are some of the things that you cannot find in Korea, but can find in America, and they're very good and accessible. Uh, the things that are in US but not in Korea is, actually, I went to the LA Dodgers game. It was... I, I'm actually an LA Dodgers fan Ooh. and I like the the car show feature yes, yes. and Justin Turner. Who did you go third with? Third base. I went with uh, Dr. Lee wow. and uh, Mr. John. <laughs> Only arrows. And DK and Matthew. Oh, 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 oh. And Christine went there and Emma and Yesen went there, I think. Wow. Great. Awesome. What do you guys have to yeah. have to elaborate on this? So I think that, um, as you, Grace, said, there's a lot of the food options in America that are not here in Korea. And uh, I like American food. I think there's more of a variety in Korea, which I think is very wonderful. Something I miss would be, um, there's this place called Raising Cane's. It's like a chicken place. And it's, <laughs> and it's a chicken place, and I think it tastes really good. And I like their fries. So it's very wonderful. Kim Hyun Buanya. What about you, Paul? Even uh, what about Australian food? Australians? Uh, <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> you sound so bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Australians, they have all uh, British foods, so they don't. So it was because British found Australia, so they don't really have uh, like foods like Korean food or Japanese food. So yeah, they have things like fish and chips. And mm. so. Do you miss fish and chips? Uh, kind of, but no. Personally, I really don't like fish uh, cooked. I, 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 I love like, fish and chips. But I'd like to try it though. It's mm, not, why it would you call good, french fries chips? It's just a <laughs> British thing, but I it's, think. It's really tasty with the sauce. Gravy? Or is there like okay. a separate sauce? Are there any funny things that happened to you while you were in America? Uh, oh. <laughs> the, uh, the fun things that happened when I was in America was <clears throat> maybe uh, in the Airbnb, there was something like a boom cook. I don't know how to say that in English. Something like. Can you describe uh, what it is? Uh, that is something Foosball? like... Uh, when whenever you open the door, the open uh the door might harm the wall. Air hockey. What? No. <laughs> what do you mean? And that yes, and it was stick oh. on the wall, and they had a spring, so I like to kick it, and it made <laughs> also, uh, it made very good sounds, and it felt really good to kick. So wow. that was one of the fun things that happened. What about you, Grace? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I I don't I can't think of it right off the bat. 
But can I share an experience from yesterday that was really funny to me? Christine, do I have <laughs> oh. permission, Christine, to share your story? My, my story. No! <laughs> I'm going to share it anyway. Uh. That's not about you, Vivi will never go to Harvard. <laughs> Sorry. I shall share your story, Christine. So, a funny thing that happened to me yesterday was, um, so Christine loves doing work. So she took her, um, she took her science textbook and she went into the hallway. There are always like little kids in the hallway, right? So Christine went like, "Nanin, have a day, Kaikwa." I'm sorry, I'm trying to sell the story. Um, she went like that, and then little kids around her. <laughs> and little kid, I don't know if you know Christine's um grades. I won't say it. I won't say it. Though. I won't say it. <laughs> They're very good. <laughs> All these little kids started laughing at her. Going ha 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 because she w- she went like dan and ha but they go yeah yeah and so yes it was hysterical you should have been there that was a funny story and next question um I heard you guys how were the people in America so like were they friendly or what was your experience of the people <laughs> in the area of California uh, I feel like. People in America is very friendly because uh, most of the Korean people don't say excuse me and so I feel like mm. every American people uh, say these four words always like excuse me, sorry, thank you, you're welcome. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is sort of true though. Yeah, so that's why but most of the Korean people have cars on their mouth so I think uh, American people were very friendly and good. Um, for me, they were um, they're very friendly. Um, I guess compared to, like, say if I went into a pyeonjam, then it was it's kind of like uh, 긴가 민가if the pyeonjam worker is friendly or not. But like w- when we went into um, convenience stores or targets or whatever, they were all really friendly and. Um, how was the Universal uh, Studios? Uh, for me, Universal Studios was very boring. Like almost uh, last, last, uh, like, every ride that I wrote was much boring than the ride something like uh, Tiggs Pass in uh, ever ever something. Everland. Oh, oh yes, Everland. <laughs> and th- it wasn't very like active and. Yeah, I feel like every rides were well made, but it wasn't very fun. The rides wasn't very fast. It didn't have like dramatic moves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, did you ride? Did you like ride like only like the like no jam ones or like? I uh, I tried to ride like very fun things, oh. but my partner. Said Who was your partner? <laughs> Who was your partner? He had a uh, lot of sweat in his hand, and. <laughs> We know who it is. But well, he's really good at writing too. For me, Universal Studios is, uh, I guess it was better than I thought because I'm really bad at writing rides, or so I thought. So every single time I go to Lotte World or Everland or Universal Studios or Disneyland or whatever, I don't write any rides and I just, I'm just there. You so, don't but know in. How to play. What? Nothing. I'm oh, sorry. so you don't like roller coasters in general? or? No, I, I was traumatized one day because no. I went to Six Flags. And I rode a scary ride. And then, yeah, but then everybody there loves roller coasters. Like, everyone who went with us. And I, and we had to be in teams, so um, I had to ride the rides. But it was actually more fun than I thought. Or, yeah, yes. Oh, okay. Thank you for uh, sharing our, st- our stories. And I think this was it for today. Thank you. We love Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo!